want um, an E major bar chord. So I'm barred on the seventh fret. And then my ring finger covers the ninth fret of the D, G, and B. That's the first chord. And the intro, you just, you know, you just kind of pick it. You know, just pick away, pick away, enjoy the picking. Then we're going to go to what's called, uh, we're going to call it G sharp major bar chord. So I'm barred on the fourth fret, and then the shape looks like an E major chord. So that's that one. And you pick that one. Then we take this E shape and scoot it over so it looks like an A minor shape. And the root now is on the A string on the fourth fret, and this is called a C sharp minor. And you pick that. Then the last chord, seventh fret, E major looking shape, and this is called a B major bar chord. And this, uh, these are the chords of the verse too. So we've got E major bar chord, G sharp major, scoot the shape over, and it's a C sharp minor. 7th fret on the E string, B major. Then, goes into the verse. Now, if you're playing this on acoustic guitar, or by yourself, as opposed to a band and other musicians, um, you can approach it a little differently. If you've got a full band, you don't have to worry about the, the, the low bass notes in there. Um, you can just play, you know, straight reggae style. And then, you know, this chord you'd play. You know, you're just focusing on the high strings. I'm gonna teach it to you as full bar chords. Most people that are learning these lessons are not practicing it in their band. They're playing acoustic guitar, they just wanna learn a song. So we're gonna do the full bar chord, and the rhythm strumming goes like this. If I counted you off, you're gonna strum the ands of all the numbers. So if I said one, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four. 